What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, but before I go any further, I am popping in from the future, present day Morgan here. Um, yeah, it's five months later and <laughs> this footage is completely from the archives, but I am literally sitting here with a baby girl in my arms and she is going to be five months and just a couple days, but I went on Instagram and asked you guys if you still wanted to see this video and I had an overwhelming response of yeses. So... Don't mind me over here being extremely late, but you know, new mom life. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video and you can expect lots more videos um, with baby girl. I am so excited to be filming this video because one, I've watched so many of them um, and like they've been some of my favorite videos to watch while being pregnant. But two, this is like the most requested video that I've gotten during my entire pregnancy, I think. You guys really have been wanting to see this. One girl was messaging me yesterday on Instagram and she's like, girl, I'm 38 weeks and I've been waiting to pack my hospital, or I've been waiting for you to upload this video so I can po post my hospital bag and I'm getting close. So I'm gonna need you to speed this process up. And I was like, oh my God, pack your bag, girl. But that being said, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that is in my hospital bag which is this blush pink um, Herschel like duffel bag. Now, okay, before I even show you the baby's bag and everything too, and before I get into this, I wanna say, I am someone who, there's gonna be people watching this who are like, oh my God, you do not need to be bringing that much stuff, that's so excessive. And then there's gonna be some people who are like, oh, you need to bring this and that and this and that. Because I like see this on everyone's videos, it's like, Everyone's different on what they want to do. I will say I probably am packing more than I need um, But I'm a first-time mom. I feel like this is kind of a thing like when it's your first time Going to the hospital like for labor and delivery and stuff. It's like you overpack and it's just whatever I've been like I've been looking forward to this day I've been watching labor videos and stuff since long before I was even pregnant So like I wanted to get cute stuff, you know And I wanted to like be fully set up and have options for baby to wear for me to wear everything like that So that's just a little disclaimer. Don't go telling me I'm packing too much because I know I am and I really don't care <laughs> uh, Danny's sitting over there <laughs> He's like yeah, you're packing way too much Anyways, okay, so I have the Herschel duffel bag and then for baby's bag, which is going to be my diaper bag, this is the Luli Baby or Luli BB um, Monaco diaper bag. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Um, I'll show you guys everything that's inside. Okay, so flash forward to present time. Baby is literally almost five months and we are still so obsessed with this bag. I went ahead and reached out to Lily Baby. Um, they had sent me this bag, but I asked them for a coupon code for you guys and I was able to get 25% off of the Monaco bag. So if you guys want to grab one of these bags for yourself, they have a bunch of different colors. Um, I will leave the coupon code down below, but it's just gonna be Morgan25. But this is basically all baby stuff, and then this is all my stuff. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys everything that's in here. And it's basically, me doing this video is also serving as kind of like a last minute check for me to make sure that I have everything. Because at the end of it, I'm going to go through the little list that I have made in my notebook that I write down everything in because pregnancy brain is real and I forget everything. I'm going to go through my list and make sure there aren't, there isn't anything else that I need to add back in. But... Let's go ahead, and also, if you guys, like, if there's anything that I forgot, maybe I'll upload this before I actually have the baby. I feel like last night I thought it was in full-blown labor. I don't know when this baby's coming, but oh my gosh, I am, we'll say I'm 39 weeks now because it's like 11 o'clock at night and tomorrow I'm 39 weeks. Um, so baby could come at any moment. Last night I totally thought I was in labor. Um, so I don't know when you guys are seeing this, but feel free to comment anything that you think I forgot that I need to bring. Cause maybe I'll still be pregnant when I upload this. So we'll see. Okay, let's get into first what is in mama's bag. Okay, so first thing is I, I just got this like matching um, cosmetic slash like toiletry case that kind of it was like matching with the bag um i got it just because i thought it was cute but i basically just have my makeup in here i am bringing like my basic makeup and stuff i'm not sure how much of the time i'm in the hospital i'll have makeup on but i want to have that option um if i'm like if i get an epidural and i still have some time or whatever like i might 
put some makeup on. <laughs> By the way, this is not in any order. I'm just pulling out stuff. So like there, I did pack it strategically, but I'm not really unpacking it strategically for this video. So there's no really rhyme or reason to the order. I'm showing you guys the stuff other than it's just what I'm grabbing. Um, so yeah, bringing my makeup in that bag. I have this sitting on top. It's just a boring like, uh, cause I was actually wearing it yesterday. Um, it's just a sweater and I wanted to have this cause I know hospitals um, tend to like run pretty cold and stuff like that. Um, so this, I may wear this like on over my coming home outfit. I may wear it while I'm in the hospital. Um, I don't know, but it's just like a basic knit cardigan that I thought would be good to have. Okay, next thing is this separate bag. I have everything in like either Ziploc bags or in little contraptions like this. I got this at um, Winners, I think, but this is just one of those hanging like cosmetic things. Um, so in here, I have a washcloth, I have shampoo, conditioner, my medications, dry shampoo, um, deodorant, makeup remover wipes back there. Um, so those are just like basic stuff that I use kind of day to day. But in this top little compartment is where I have some actual like labor and postpartum related like necessities. So let's get into that. Okay, so this is also just basics like cotton rounds and um, Q-tips, little pack I got at like the dollar section. Some hair ties. Um, but then as far as the postpartum stuff goes, I brought Dermaplast. Um, this is something that a lot of people talked about in their videos that the hospital gives them. However, they do not give this at the hospital that I'm going to be at. And I actually don't know if this is even really used widely in Canada. If you guys are just new to my channel, I'm from California. Um, and I was... All my OB and pregnancy care was in California until my 29th week of pregnancy. And I've just switched over to Canada and we're having baby girl in Canada. Um, so things are a little different here. But, so I actually had my mom bring this from California when she came. Um, apparently it's just good for spraying down there. It's first aid spray that helps prevent infection. And apparently it's just supposed to really help with like numbing, numbing down there and whatnot. Um, for a different option for kind of like a similar thing. This is the Earth Mama Herbal Perineal Spray. Um, so many people recommended this. This was in like every hospital bag video that I saw or every postpartum video. Um, but it's just supposed to be like a organic, like more um, natural version kind of of the Dermaplast. Like it helps with cooling down there and stuff afterwards. It says take care down there. So we'll see which one I end up liking for, or like which one I end up liking when I use them. I have a feeling I'm gonna use the Dermaplast mostly at first when like the pain's real bad, you know? And then I'll probably like transition into using this as the days and weeks kind of go on after that. Um, I'm bringing Senecot, which is like a natural laxative. Um, this says it's extra strength natural Senna. Um, so yeah, I, I've been told to start taking stool softeners or laxatives or whatever like before your labor even starts or like right when you go into labor because the first time going number two after having a baby a lot of people say it's like worse than having the actual baby so I'm trying to avoid that so I'm going to be taking this when I'm in the hospital. Um, I also have two different options for like nipple butter. Um, I have the Lansano Lanolin. HPA lanolin. Um, I just heard a lot of good things about this and I know that you don't have to like remove it when you're nursing and stuff, which I plan to do. Um, so for the nips, some people told me, someone actually told me, I forget who it was, but that they like put this on their lips too. Um, so, oh, that's one thing I haven't put in my bag yet. I'm so, okay, I'm glad I said that. This is very good that I'm filming this before. I'm so happy that I made the time to film this before I actually went into labor. I need to put, um, chapstick in my bag and I'm, I know which one I'm bringing in everything. It's actually in my purse which will come with me also so I'm not worried about that but it's the Jouer Natural Lip Enhancer I think. natural Something like that. Um, and it's amazing. It's like smells like roses. Me and my sister swear by it. It's just like ugh, it's a beautiful thing. So that will be with me too. <laughs> um, but then this is the Bella B Nipple Nurture Butter for breastfeeding moms, plant-based healing and protection, soft and easy to apply, no need to wipe off. So again, kind of just like, I don't know why I need both, but I had both and yeah, I figured why not. They kind of serve the same purpose, but this is like, again, more natural version. 
Um, okay, this was something also that came highly, highly recommended to me. It's the Wish Garden After Ease um, for pregnancy. It's a herbal dietary supplement and it's supposed to help with afterbirth contractions. Um, this was something that I didn't know much about. Like, I didn't know. I don't think a lot of people do know that you have contractions after birth and that they can be like very painful. I've seen, I've heard some people say that like they were just as bad as actual labor contractions. Um, so you just like are supposed to drop this into your water or drink or whatever and they're like meant to help ease that pain. Um, yeah, use two to four droppers full in water. Repeat if needed for desired effects. So just like a natural kind of helper to help with those pains which hopefully are not too bad, but we will see, I guess. Oh, I also just have toothbrush and toothpaste and um, floss picks, but that goes without saying. You definitely don't want to forget about the toothbrush and toothpaste. So I just bought an extra one because I don't want to have to like worry about grabbing it last minute. Although I do have a list. I actually made, a, in this notebook, I told Danny this is his daddy notebook, um, and I've made him a list of it's titled, What to Do When Labor Starts, and there's notes for him. <laughs> and part of these notes are last minute things to grab. Um, so these are just like stuff that I wanna bring to the hospital with me, but that like we use every day or something like that, or that they're around the house and he'll need to just like grab them, I'll grab them, whatever. I just wanted to write it down because, um, yeah, I'm sure when I'm like in active labor, I won't be thinking completely straight. Heck, I'm not thinking completely straight now, so. Yes, I wrote down all of that. And Danny also has his hospital bag packed. It's actually in the trunk of the car already, so he's more prepared than I even am. Anywho, okay, next in here from my stuff, I have two nursing gowns. Um, I have a feeling these are just what I'm gonna be wearing pretty much the entire time I'm at the hospital. They're both from Motherhood Maternity, um, and they are just, yeah, nursing gowns. I'll try to leave a link for you guys if I can find one. But this one's cute, just floral. Um, so they have like the pads in there and everything. And I don't know, I just felt like it was cute. I feel like there's not much you can say about nursing gowns. This one's even more boring, it's just a plain black. Um, but I feel like these are just easy to wear and to obviously be able to nurse because I'm sure we'll be doing a lot of that while we're at the hospital. Um, okay, in addition to that, I have this robe, which is from Posh Peanut. And I got it with a matching swaddle for baby girl. So we're gonna take some pictures um, of us in our little our little matching outfits. But I thought it was really cute. Um, again, I can't remember the name of the color or anything, so I'll I'll find the link for you guys. Um, but it was from was it from Posh Peanut? Yes, I'm pretty sure Posh Peanut. <laughs> so I have this robe. Okay, now for like undergarments, I guess you could say. Um, in here, so I've separated stuff kind of by category just in these Ziplocs because I, I don't know, I thought it was like the easiest way to do it. Um, but okay, I have a couple different, also from Motherhood Maternity, I honestly, like this shirt I think is from Motherhood Maternity, I've just like my entire pregnancy pretty much I've been in stuff from them. I've liked their leggings the best and everything. Um, they're a little overpriced but they were actually having a really good sale when I made this order with kind of all of this stuff in it actually. Um, so this is like similar. Oh, that looks weird. The cup is like inverted. Um, it's just a basic nursing tank. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up wearing one of these nursing tanks home. Um, so I have the black one and then I just also have this. I thought it was white when I was ordering it, but it's actually like a light blue color, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking when I come home, I will wear one of these like as my coming home outfit i don't even really care i heck i might end up wearing one of the nursing gowns just into the car and home like i'm not going anywhere we're not stopping anywhere in between leaving the hospital and going home so i'm not really worried about what i'm going to be wearing afterwards but um yeah so i have both of these and then i'll probably wear like this over it and um i'm also bringing my lululemon align leggings which I've worn all through my pregnancy, um, and they're just really comfy. And I have a feeling that I'm gonna want some like compression afterwards. Um, I'm someone who just likes compression all the time, pretty much. Like I always wear my leggings in a size down because I like just every since I since losing weight, like since everything's kind of like looser. Um, not that it is right now because nothing is loose about my belly. It feels so tight and huge. Um, but I know it can feel like you want support afterwards kind of with the tummy. So this is one option for um, 
for my going home outfit. So with the nursing tank, the leggings, and the sweater. Um, okay, back to this bag though. I also have, what's this? Oh, this is just another nursing tank. This one's like fitted. It doesn't have the, it's like a plain black. Um, and then this is, oh, these are shorts. These are actually maternity shorts also from um, Motherhood. I don't know if you can see, but they have like the ruching. Um, yeah, I'm actually planning on like if I'm laboring for a long time at the hospital, I don't know what my experience is going to be like. Who does? Like you never know. But um, I'm not sure how long, like if my water breaks, then I basically have to go straight to the hospital because I have, I tested positive for group B strep, which means I have to like be on antibiotic for a long time. Um, before I actually give birth so I may be at the hospital for a while like laboring um, So I thought that these would be nice to have to wear like under the gown or whatever if I don't want the like um, Hospital gown on then I might just wear like these and a bra or something just to be comfortable um, But yeah, I wear these all the time around the house. So I thought I'd bring them with me because they're extra comfy Now for slippers. I am bringing These oh they look so big um, they're super <laughs> fluffy. I just got them. I, I actually think I, I got these at Walmart. I had ordered some from Amazon. And I didn't like them. Um, and then I'm pretty sure, yeah, we were at Walmart and I saw these and I was like, okay, those will do. They go with the whole blush pink aesthetic. Um, not that that matters, but for me it does because I'm into it. Okay. Um, yeah, so I brought some slippers to walk around the hospital with. Um, because nobody wants to be like not wearing shoes or anything when you're walking around the hospital like that's just not cute kind of in the same um, Going along with that I brought some sandals. These are just cheap like flip-flops um, To wear as shower shoes if I I'm sure I'll take a shower I don't know if I'm gonna end up washing my hair and stuff at the hospital, but I'm like pretty positive I'm gonna want to at least rinse off um, after everything goes down so yeah, I brought these to wear in the shower. Um, okay, this is more another um, Ziploc bag. This is more like undergarment type things. Um, so I brought some non-slip little socks. Um, when you're pregnant, you're considered like a fall risk or whatever. So they won't let you wear normal socks in the hospital. So I brought those and this is another pair. I ordered these on Amazon. They're like really ugly, but I don't know. I don't know. I was like, I need non-slip socks. I didn't have any. And this was all they had on Amazon Canada, which by the way sucks compared to Amazon in America. <laughs> but yeah, so this is what I got for that. I don't know. I'll probably just wear the cute ones that I got from, I think winners. Um, okay. Oh, there's two pairs of these. So no shortage of socks here. Um, okay, now these are super cute guys. These are some good old postpartum like granny panties. These are actually meant to be for postpartum. They're um I, what? Yeah, first. Oh my god, he's playing a video game over there in the corner and he, yeah, he's sitting in the little in our glider that we got for nursing and stuff like that, playing these little games. Just watching me. Um okay, anyway, so I got a pack of these off of Amazon. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna have to link all this stuff for you guys. So I will um, do my best to find the exact link, but they're just like, they came in a pack of I think three, and I think I got two packs. I'm not even gonna lie, like I may or may not have already been wearing these around the house because they're so comfortable. And all I wear at this point in my pregnancy is big old, like, is like underwear and big t-shirts or a bra or my, um, my maternity robe that's like all i've been living in when i'm out so yeah i'm bringing two pairs of these in case i hate like the mesh underwear that they give you at the hospital although i have a feeling like i know that they provide a lot of the stuff that i'm bringing or alternatives to it um at the hospital but i just want to be kind of prepared just in case there is something that they don't provide um but whatever they do like i'll use what they have there basically um so i may just wear the mesh like underwear that they give you but for when i get home at least these will be nice to have to fit the huge like pad in that you wear and all that stuff and also because they're high-waisted you know the again with the compression so super cute <laughs> um yeah i think i have did i bring oh, i brought three pairs um okay and then i also have a nursing bra um, and then I'll probably, I'm going to wear a nursing bra into the hospital too. Like probably just one of the same ones. Again, these are from motherhood. 
it just so happened like they yeah i just have liked motherhood stuff so a lot of this stuff is from there um but yeah i'm bringing this i'm also bringing two other nursing bras these are from the brand auden from target um and they're the like sleep nursing bras that you literally just go like that and they're literally they're so stretchy you guys like i think i thought these were going to be too small um because my boobs are huge but they're an xl so i have that in black and then i also have it in tan um i'll probably just wear like that and underwear under my robe i have a feeling like i'm not gonna want to be wearing real clothes or like outfits and stuff like that like i'm gonna be in basic ass stuff i'm not gonna be trying to impress anyone after giving birth um but that's like what the cute robes are for you know like this is the stuff that nobody sees underneath all of that and then you put a cute little maternity robe and that's like super easy right okay at the bottom here oh wait no first this did not fit in the bag so i have it in the top of the baby's bag um but this is all postpartum goodies so basically i know that they will provide some of this at the hospital like i said but just in case i brought some of my own these are just like huge overnight maxi pads um but i'm thinking what i'm going to be wearing at first which is what so many people have recommended to me and what i've seen in a lot of people's videos um is actually these always discreet adult diapers <laughs> and yeah i don't know i just so many people have told me like don't even bother with the pad it feels like it's gonna fall off all the time blah 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 get yourself some diapers and use that for like the first i, I think some people like use it for the first week or so or even just a couple days so i'm bringing a bunch of these we'll see what i end up liking best i feel like everyone says they something different i don't know how to fold this back up how it was how do you okay whatever i'm just gonna stick that back in there like that so yeah this is just pads and diapers <laughs> super cute <laughs> okay we're getting to the bottom of this um at the bottom of the book i have of the bag i have this kind of random i don't think a lot of people will do this but it's actually one of the baby books that i plan on using and the reason i'm bringing it is just because um it has this kit for doing her like footprint stamps and i want to make sure that they do that um and I'm pretty sure they'll do it at the hospital too, but this one is like specifically for the book. Like it fits into this little thing. We got this off of um, Amazon, I think, our Amazon registry. So yeah, I'm just bringing this with. It was easy to put at the bottom of the bag. So figured I would bring that with us. And then I also am bringing a basic just folder. Whoa, I just hit myself in the face with it. Um, I'm bringing this because I guess apparently you get a lot of paperwork and stuff when you bring a child into the world you know their birth certificate they're like all their medical records and stuff so i have like a file here at home that i'm going to put everything into but i just wanted to bring a folder to be able to put all paperwork and stuff um into to keep it organized so as far as things that are going to be last minute grabs go but that are still like for me um i'll read you danny's list of stuff to grab so i put a fu the white fuzzy blanket in our office um, just because I want to bring my own blanket just to be cozy. Some people told me I should do that. Um, also, one of our just like pillows from our bed. Um, a patterned one because everyone says don't bring a white pillow or else they'll get like confused and you'll end up losing yours or whatever, leaving it something. I don't know. Even our birthing class actually, they told us. They're like, bring a patterned pillow. So it's like, okay, patterned pillow. Um, a clean bath towel for me. So, I, I, okay, it says clean bath towel on the list because knowing him, he would just grab like any towel from anywhere and I, I want to make sure he, you so would. <laughs> no, I just want to make sure he grabs one of the actual clean folded ones from our laundry room. Um, so yeah, a towel for me, Ooh. it's not super like necessary um, because they're obviously going to provide you with towels there, but so many people told me that like they're the worst towels ever basically and I want to be as comfy as possible um also we both have these like 32 ounce like um hydro flask type things i like them better than hydro flask actually but they're just those big water bottles so i want to fill those with ice and bring that um so we just have cold water all the time we're gonna bring our boppy pillow which is the like nursing um pillow thing because i want to have that for me or if he wants to like be holding her if we have visitors and stuff that want to hold her it's just you know just want to have it just in case um 
Also on this list is all our cameras and chargers. Um, and coconut oil. We want to bring coconut oil just because um, I know it's important to have something for like those first few baby poos. You know how they're like really tarry and black, the meconium? Um, so it's good to have something down there like um, Vaseline or whatever, but we're just going to use coconut oil. More natural, natural option. I also have this 10 foot phone charger um, just because you never know how far the bed's going to be like from, from you and I want to be able to charge my phone, so. Ordered this off Amazon, it's actually pretty cheap. Um, okay, that is everything that was in this bag here. Now I need to repack it all. Okay, let's talk about what I'm bringing for baby girl in the Monaco diaper bag. Okay, so actually on the side here, um, this is technically, like for me, these are just nursing pads. Um, or what do you call them? Like, nipple covers? sheets pads whatever it is <laughs> just stick them in your bra so when you're like leaking milk and everything it catches that um these are the lanzano ones so yeah that's just in the side pocket of the diaper bag um on the other side of the diaper bag i have this wub nub cow wub nub um i it's kind of like a just in case i'm gonna probably bring like a couple we have so many pacifiers so i'll probably bring a couple other options just because you never know what your baby's gonna take um but yeah, for now I just have the Wubba Nub in there. Okay, so for the fun stuff, um, the things that I'm bringing for baby girls first off, it's, I do have a couple newborn diapers in here. Um, I know that they provide that at the hospital, but this is like our diaper bag, so I figured I would just put them in here anyways because I'm eventually going to. Um, but I made an order for some, most of our clothes that we have for her are like from Carter's or Target, just like basic stuff. Um, but I wanted to get some like, you know, just a couple splurge little like boutique baby items um, for the hospital for her first pictures and everything. So one of those was from the Posh Peanut. Um, it's the, this is a knotted gown actually. I thought it was a swaddle, but it's a knotted gown. Um, and it matches, it smells, <laughs> it smells so good like baby. Um, I've obviously washed all this stuff, but yeah, it's one of these gowns that you just knot at the bottom, which is great for changings and stuff, so you don't have to wake up baby and undress her and everything. But this matches the um, the robe that I have, so I got these as a set. Okay, so that was from Posh Peanut, and then I got this little swaddle set from um, Spearmint Baby, and this is just the it's like a floral swaddle, and this one does have a little matching. <laughs> Little matching hat which I think is so dang cute um, and then it came with a sticker a pink sticker that says hello my name is and then you write their name in um, so it's actually in my mom's wallet because I was like I need some more safe to keep this where it won't get like crinkled up and stuff but I need to make sure I get to the hospital with us so that is like this little um, this little set that will be good for like some of her newborn photos that we'll take in the hospital um, I also got this really cute set it's just in the color this is from spearmint love um it's another knotted gown in just the color by the way the bruises on my arms are from my um, iron infusions i know that looks kind of crazy but yeah that's what that's from um so it has it's the knotted gown so you tie it at the bottom and then it has the little mitts for newborn's hands this is in a zero to three month um they're telling me i'm gonna have a big baby i pray that she fits into all this stuff but i have a feeling a lot of her newborn items she's not going to fit into we will see though um so it's this knotted gown and it came with the same color little bow um this was in the color vanilla if you're wondering and then also from spearmint baby i got this onesie also in zero to three month i think it's so cute um it's in the color mauve lilac so it's a zipping one um as far as like onesies and sleepers go i try to do mostly all zip ones i'd like to get some magnetic which i don't have yet i don't think um but yeah so this is a zipping one again it has the oh wait no this one doesn't have little mittens but i have that's okay because i brought some um this is the little booty the little ruffles on it so freaking cute um, and then I brought, I got a matching bow to go with that. This is from Baby Bling Bows. Um, I'm obsessed with these. these. She has so many bows. I've got her so many bows like from Amazon and from di different shops and stuff like that. But these Baby Bling ones are 
a little bit overpriced so I only have like three of them I think I got them actually in a little set um, but I think they're gonna end up being our favorite speaking of bows I guess I'll just show you guys um, all of the options that I'm bringing I have this white one which was from a pack from Amazon actually and it's like great quality um, this light pink like baby pink one um, came in a set with the mauve lilac one that I showed you guys from baby bling um, this is one of their like mini bows, so it's just like a little version. It's in a light pink color. I also have one of these hats, little newborn hats. It's like striped um, light pink. We also have this, which is one of the smallest. I, I really don't know if she's going to fit into this. I'm bringing it as an option, um, as like a small option if she comes out much smaller than we think she's going to be, um, but it's a newborn little onesie sleeper from target and it actually came with like a matching um it's the cloud island brand but it came with like a matching little stuffy that we have so yeah this is a just in case item okay i'm also bringing a few different um swaddle blankets so this one is from shabby the shabby sheet collection i think from target it came in a set that we got um as a gift this is a copper pearl one. Uh, I cannot, it's in the bloom pattern. I really like this. Um, also in the bloom pattern, I have a burp cloth. Um, the copper pearl stuff I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's all so freaking soft. Um, this is a, another thing from copper pearl. It's just a car seat cover slash nursing cover. Um, so that's at the bottom of the bag. I don't know if I'll need it at all while we're in the hospital. But again, this is just going to be what we use as our diaper bag. So this is all stuff that I'll have in here anyways. Um, I also have a pack of water wipes. This is what I plan on using um, for her just at least in the first couple months. Their skin is so sensitive and stuff. So I just want to use something really basic. Um, the Luli Baby bags are really cool because they come with these. Uh, these are just sitting in the bag. Um, but it's like a longer strap. And then these ones hook onto your stroller or like even a shopping cart or something if you're at a grocery store, things like that. So yeah, these are the extra contraptions for that. Also in here, I have a spray hand sanitizer. Obviously we're gonna have everyone washing their hands before touching and holding her and everything. Um, but just in case, I figured this would be good to have. So that's in there. Um, I brought two little pairs of newborn socks. These are folded up, but these are like just from Target, I think. These ones are the like fuzzy ones, more just for thick, so if we need something to keep her warmer. These are from Carter's. Um, and then these are so cute. These are little mittens to make sure she doesn't scratch her face because from all of our ultrasounds, we can tell that this little girl likes to have her hands up by her face. So I would be surprised if she doesn't come out with scratches already on her face. I know that's like a thing um, for babies in the womb. Like they'll have their face, whether it's like sucking their thumb and stuff like that or just up by their face. She's one of those babies. So it won't surprise me if she has, if she comes out with like some scratches and stuff. Um, so we brought those little mittens. Okay, so I'm looking at the list that I've had going for quite a while here and it looks like the only thing that I need to add in, which will also be put on Danny's last minute list is um, a speaker or being like a Bluetooth speaker so I can play my own music and like be in my zone slash like about uh, probably a lot of praise and worship Hill song like Beyonce and Kygo that's kind of like my my vibe music so we're probably gonna have a lot of that playing but I want to be able to play um, my own music okay tell me what you guys think about bringing a sound machine I I'm trying to decide if I want to bring our Hatch Baby nightlight and sound machine because um, I've seen some people like recommend bringing both a sound machine and a nightlight to have. So I think I am. Okay, yeah, I'm going to put that in last minute. The other thing that we're going to bring is the Polaroid camera and extra films for it because I want to take some Polaroids while we're there. Um, and then also I forgot to mention in Danny's bag, we have a bunch of like snacks to bring, mainly for him. Um... But yeah, there's also like vending machines all in the hospital and there's like several different um, cafes and stuff like that. The hospital we're going to, guys, is like so amazing. I'm, It's like very new. Um, so I'm excited that I get to give birth in like a nice new hospital. But yeah, I don't think I'm forgetting anything else, guys. Now that I'm looking at this stuff, I feel like I'm going to be set up. But the only thing that I feel like I may not 
Yeah, I feel like I definitely don't have enough options actually. Um, and is stuff for the baby because I just have the two knotted gowns and then the two onesies but I don't even know like if this one's gonna like I don't know if it's gonna fit so I think I'm gonna throw in just a couple more basic like onesies for her we have so many outfits there's no like there's no shortage there so I'll probably pick a couple different um different ones just to throw in because I don't know if she'll get them dirty and stuff too when we're in the hospital you just never know. So, okay, yeah, I'm going to grab a few more outfit options for her. Other than that, I think that we are pretty set up. Um, I think we're definitely going to have everything that we need. If not, though, if there's anything that you guys think that I should add in last minute, hopefully I'll see your comment before I'm on my way to the hospital. <laughs> So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was everything that you were hoping for because I was feeling the pressure on this. There's been so many, like I said, this has been such a highly requested video. Um, so yeah, hopefully it was what you guys wanted. <laughs> um, obviously, maybe I'll do a follow-up video of like what I actually used in my hospital bag after the fact. That might be even more helpful. Um, so let me know if you guys want to see that down below as well. Um, yeah, so I will link as much as I possibly can in the description box. I really appreciate you guys and all of your support. All the comments and DMs I've been getting throughout this pregnancy and especially in the, like, past couple weeks has been so, like, just incredible and amazing and I feel like I have such an awesome support system obviously with my family and friends and stuff but then with you guys like it's just been I felt like I have a lot to lean on and it's been very comforting um in this last phase of like oh my god I want to just have this baby I don't want to be pregnant anymore even though I know I'm gonna miss it but yeah so I really appreciate you guys um, I'm so excited to make videos after the fact once baby's here. Let me know what what kind of videos you want to see once she's actually here like daily routines with a newborn or like um, Introducing her to Kobe our dog or just whatever you guys want to see leave comments down below I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys and I'm really looking forward to just having this having this baby. Let me show you the bump. Oh Okay, so we're gonna be <laughs> oh my god 39 weeks tomorrow this is what I'm looking like that was the right side there's the left side feeling feeling large okay I'm gonna end it at that make sure to leave this video a thumbs up you guys subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and join the family and I will see you in the next video bye guys